So I I can't even tell you how short this video is going to be. <sighs> I'm not even setting up exactly how I would set up. Um, today's video, yeah, of course it's to pick up for April, but the sad thing is there really isn't many pickups at all for April. <clears throat> so let's get into it. Maria! Okay, so welcome back to the month of April's pickups for 2020. And as I said in the beginning, oh no, in the last uh, pickups video, which was um, <clears throat> March, which I had a lot to say, a lot to talk about, which was like an hour and something minutes long. So the problem with that, Compared to that to this, this is going to be very short. It's probably be honestly less than like 10 minutes. So let's just get into this. 100%. So I'm a, I don't want to, I don't want to start with the big one. I mean, everything is literally in my hands. It, it's just right here. It's really not much. Um, I guess I can say why uh, I didn't get much this month. So, due to me now working my second job, not having a second revenue type of way of getting stuff. Uh, second, COVID-19, of course, there's that. Uh, unable to go out and go find things as I would love to. Uh, number three. Um, there's things I've wanted, but it's like if I buy one thing, it's like my whole check type of thing. And of course, I've been buying food. Because, you know, I, I just want to eat. I feel fat as hell. Yes, I, it's very true. I feel fat as hell. Um, so, we'll start off with this one game. It is the only retro game here. So, this is Bomberman Fantasy Race for the, the PlayStation 1. Now, this is made, yes, by uh, Hudson. But it was released over here by Atlas. This game used to be really hard to find back in the day for me. Um, on PlayStation 1. This is on the PS3, on the PSN network, uh, for like $6 or whatever it is. That's how I played it originally back in the day. I don't I don't know if I did a Tales of the X of this game, but I think I might have, or wanted to, I don't know. But, uh, this is a very hard to find game I haven't seen in like years. I bought this, it's, I bought this guy for $25. Uh, it's just something I've been wanting to get, and it's one of those top games I've been looking for. So, the, how, the, you're probably saying, how did I find this if the store is closed and, and all this? So, yes, as I said, stores are closed. But doesn't mean social media is. So, I went on to a Facebook group. I'm part of a Facebook group for Utah Retro Gamers. That is a Facebook group, but I'm talking about a different one. I mean, there's just there's, there's a Facebook group for retro gamers in Utah. Let's just say it like that. There we go. Uh... And someone posted up some games that they wanted to sell, and just stuff duplicates. I'm like, hey, this is a game I need. So we got Bomberman Fantasy Race. So it looks fun. I gotta say that, you know. There we go. Showing off the discs. Just what you guys see. So, you know, it's whatever. But it's a game I'd be wanting to get, pretty much. So. Bomberman Fantasy Race for PlayStation 1. Again, the only retro game I bought. So, alright. Next we have here is something I actually bought months ago. I don't know when exactly. It was like back in November, I think. Maybe October or December, around that time frame. So this finally came from Limited Run Games. And I'm such an idiot, I put the card away. So this is the game that's actually on the eShop. 
It's like one of the very first eShop games on the Switch. This is Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King. So Blossom Tales, um, it, it, it looked like a very fun game. I saw some reviews about it. I saw Limited Run was going to be selling this only on their website, not Best Buy exclusive. So I'm like, hey, you know, I'm going to have a chance to not want to miss out on this. So I'm going to get this. So this is number Limited Run number 100. No, no, I'm sorry. Number 56 of the Limited Run. This is number 56. I don't know what copy this is, of course. I don't ever say that anymore. But it's number 56 of their run. I always wish they said what copy number this could be. It'd be kind of cool. That's just me, though. Still, anyways. Yep. Lost of Tales. So, again, it's like a Zelda clone. I'll say it like that. It's like a Zelda clone. Uh, check out Blossom Tales on YouTube. You'll just see how it's like. Or if, and if you like it, it's on the Nintendo eShop. All right, again, so this one I talked about. I bought Lily at the beginning of the month. Technically, yeah, it was the beginning of the month of, of, of April. So here it is. It's still fucking Doom Eternal. I just said I was going to get it. I already got the, the stand I showed you and the uh, collectible tin, which is somewhere. <laughs> I, I moved my room around a little bit. I mean, this part, so I don't completely remember where I left it. It's around. But, uh, now where did I leave it? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> just, uh, I, f I keep looking at this direction. Like, I feel like I will. Oh, you know. Yep. Yep. I put it in that tin because that tin's bigger than the smaller tin. So, so anyway, so yeah. Uh, here is Doom Eternal. I haven't played it much of it. I'm playing this one in my game room. Or my game room, sorry. My bedroom. And, uh, I've only played the first level, the first mission, whatever you want to say. Uh, I'm not used to playing Doom. When I played Doom 2014 for the first time, it, I didn't enjoy it as much. Maybe it was just my 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 way of thinking back then. My, my way of thinking back then to now is a bit different, I'll say that. Uh, but I like Doom Eternal. It's not that bad of a game so far that I've played. Uh, I'll be doing a Tell X on it. This should be like, I don't know, you see it like in two months from now or something like that. Because I have a lot of Tell I just did. So yeah, Doom Eternal. I got it. That's that's pretty much it. I got it. So Xbox One. I do need to get Doom the original one on Xbox as well because I have that on PS4 and uh, it's something I wanted to always switch back to. So, anyways, now um, before we get to the very last, oh, let's see, see, does it? I'm using my phone camera and I kind of thought it was gonna be something like that. So it's good enough, I guess, right? Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, as I was saying. Um, you probably see me guys like a weird awkward till. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, I talked about it with my friend, uh, Matt. Talking about you, Matt, because I know you watch these videos. Um, I have bought a lot of digital games in the month of April and March. Well, mainly April. So, I'm thinking. I'm gonna show you all the digital games, not through ca capture card. I think it's just easier to point out the screen and be like, bam, keep going, type of shit. So, I would do that. Well, fucking camera. Uh, basically, I'm gonna have to hold it. I'm gonna have to do that basically right now for you guys. Well, in a second. Uh, for me, it's gonna be recording it in like a while later, but for now, I'm gonna show you this. But, in the meantime, you'll be seeing all the digital games I got throughout the month of April. I feel like this is the only way to, to extend the video. Besides, I said 10 minutes, and now I'm at 10 minutes, like, right... Now, my 10 minutes. So, uh, for you guys, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know if it's 10 minutes. I cut some stuff out, most likely. But anyways, um, I'll see you guys in a minute. Again. Here's my digital download for, well, April 2020. Okay? See you guys in a second. Okay, guys. So, as I said in the video, I'm going to show you off my download list of stuff that happened in April, hopefully. If not, I guess maybe like March 2. I, I don't know. So, anyways, we have here is Castlevania Lord of Shadow 2. I think I actually got that in January or, or February. I don't I, Again, I don't know. Then, there's Sonic Generations 
on uh, Xbox 360 on Xbox One, by the way, uh, same with Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. So, some generations are quite already beat this on the Xbox 360 back in the day. Never played Lords of Shadow 2, by the way. Um, this was, I think, March? Yeah, March. Uh, ending of the month for Xbox Live Full Bumpers. So, there's that, I think. Yeah, I think it was March. Not eight. No, it was March. Alright, I don't know. <laughs> Like, I don't know anymore. We got Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. That was on sale. Uh, part of the, the spring sale or some type of sale was going on. Same with Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, this is the Xbox One version, uh, also on PS4, not the 360 one. Uh, I learned when I was playing it. So. <laughs> then we have Strider 2014. This is a game I played. Uh, a good amount, I think, on the original Xbox 360. This is the Xbox One version of the game. Uh, very cheap when I bought it. On Rush, this was like very, very cheap as well. I bought it because I saw a review on it by Melody's Rocks, I believe, and it looked really, really fun. It reminded me a lot of Motor Storm with, like, Burnout. So, yeah, on Rush. Then there's Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I already owned this on the PS4. It was really cheap on the Xbox One, so I, I bought it. Then there was Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle. This is the uh, the Belt Action Collection in Japan. Uh, this is the one I want to get on. This is like one of the only ones I could think about that I want to import for the Nintendo Switch to be you know playable on the uh, well physically be playable on my Switch. So there's that. Then we have a Asura's Wrath. Uh, this is the game I also played a little bit on the Xbox 360. I also did a demo of this as well. Similar more with the Capcom Infinite. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, Strider, Sonic Generations, some of these, also Tennis Shadow Rex, some of these too. So, Ostros Wrath, very cheap, it was like 2 or $3. This is the game I can't even pronounce. Uh, Xenon Valkyria, or Valkyrie Plus, I don't know. I've not played it yet. It was like 2 bucks, so I bought it because it looked fun. This is just the Warzone for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it's free. And then there was Toy Box Turbos, this is free for Xbox Live Gold members. Uh, for the month, the beginning month of, um, when it was the beginning month? No. <coughs> Sorry. It was the ending month of, uh, April, so this is, like, literally the last thing I bought, so. There is that. Now, that's all of Xbox. Sorry, that was all of Xbox. Now, let's jump over to, uh, one of the other consoles. There we go. Alright, we're on a Nintendo Switch. Alright, on a Nintendo... Alright, on a Nintendo Switch. We have uh, Conduct Together, this is like a dollar or less, uh, Envision Gun Reloaded, then there's Squid Squidlet, I think that was like a Game Boy game, I, I can't remember, uh, or not a Game Boy game, it was a game inspired like game, I don't know, then there's Hive Jump, then there's uh, Uber Moshe Omega, then there's Biolab Wars, that's like Contra basically. This one reminds me of Kirby. Whipsy and the Lost Atlas. This also reminds me of Kirby, the Squidlet one. So, uh, Then there's Galaxy Champions TV. Gunman Clive HD Collection. Drawful 2. I, I think I bought this because it was a fucking penny, but it's not. It doesn't look that fun. I just wanted to figure it was a fucking penny. <laughs> then there's uh, Vassara Collection. This, this, this looked really interesting. It, it was like basically a, a, a hack, uh, not a hack, slash, it was a, a shim up. Then there's a Asphalt 9 Legends. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to the camera as much. Sorry. Should probably do it. And there's Watermelon Party. I think it was like 3 cents or something. I don't know. Um, not that it's DLC. We got Hyperide. Hyperide Vector Raid. That's a weird thing to say. Then I got Unravel 2. I don't remember how much it was, like four bucks, I think. There's Toki Tori, I think it was like a dollar. There's Stranger Things 3 of the game, I think it was like five, to be honest. Then there's Agony, that, that was like pretty cheap, it was like three dollars. Um, then there's a Warface, this is a free game. Uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, funny thing is, I don't even know why I bought this on the Switch. I should have bought this on the PlayStation, because I already own this on the fucking Switch, so I, I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot, I, I don't know, I'm just a fucking idiot, sorry, but it's free. On that one, so. <laughs> There's Tokyo Tori 2 Plus. I think it was like a dollar more than the original Tokyo Tori, so. Uh, not that's a demo. And we got Volgar the Viking. Okay. I don't remember the question. There's Gurgam. No. Gurgamoth. 
Dr. Gump. I don't know if you say that correctly. There's Gun House. Then there's the critically acclaimed Celeste. This was like three, you know, four or five dollars. And then there's a uh, Techion Project, which reminds me a lot of um, Geometry Wars. So, yeah, that's all the games I got within the month of uh, April, maybe some of March, but some of these don't come to the demos. So, so. Uh, oh wait, yeah, there's Johnny Turbo's Arcade Night Slashers. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I guess I'll throw a little bit more in there because I don't really talk about some of these downloadables. We got Crocs World 3, 2, and 1. Uh, VSR, Voice, Space Racing, um, we have Doom 3, Doom 2, Doom 1, so I think that was like March or something, or even February, so this Cosmo, I don't know, some of these are like older and stuff, like Foam and whatever, but yeah, that's pretty much the ones, uh, these ones up here are like basically, you know, like up to date, so. Alright, now, let's get into the very last one, which, uh, give me a second to get the controller, <laughs> get that ready to go. All right, over here we have is the PlayStation 4. All right, PlayStation 4. Let's start from. Well, there really isn't many on PlayStation 4. Uh, let's see. Here. Yeah, I just, I, I'm serious. This is, this is pretty much it. <laughs> there really isn't many on PlayStation 4. As you can probably tell. So yeah, I mean, some people like already own for like ages. All right, here we go. So PlayStation 4, we have Journey. There's a free game on the PlayStation uh, Network that they're giving out due to the COVID-19. Um, you can still download this right now. If I'm uploading this video on next Saturday, hopefully, it should be out. Um, then this should still be out, because next Saturday is May 8th, and I think this is still out till like May... I don't know, like the end of May. So, check out Journey. Uh, same with this one. Nate Uncharted and the Nathan Drake Collection. It's absolutely free. Both games are free. You can download them and own them forever. That's really what they said. Due to the COVID-19, what's going on, that they're giving out for free. So, yeah. Um, Uncharted, Uncharted and Nathan Drake Collection has all three original Uncharted games. There's Drake's Fortune, um, Drake's Deception, and the second one, which I don't remember what it's called at the moment. Uh, Drake, some shit. <laughs> uh, did, I, did I just play the game? I did not mean to play the game. I did not mean to open up the game. I'm sorry. I did not want to go to there. I messed this up. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> uh, anyways, we have the King of the Fighters 2000. Um, I don't remember. I think I want it for like $3. And then the last one is The Last Blade 2. Um, if I bought this exact bundle, which was like very cheap, I can't remember, it was less than like $4, I think it was. Um, I would also get Last Blade 2 on the Vita, which. Um, that kind of counts, honestly, because that's the only other fucking thing I got on the Vita. Uh, 3DS, um, I'll just say right now that I'll, all I got on the 3DS was the Fe Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney's Dual Destinies, uh, and then, uh, Summer, Summer Rica, no, Summer, Summer, Car me, Summer Carnival Reca 92, or 93, I can't remember what the number it was. Then there was on Wii U, yeah, I know, I still have the other consoles turned on, uh, on Wii U, there was Boards of Thunder and um, uh, Fast Racing Neo. So the reason why I'm talking about 3DS, Vita, and uh, Wii U, not really Vita, just because it's there, but 3DS and Wii U is because uh, they announced that they'd be discontinuing those services at some point, but North America's fine for now, but I'm just getting ready till they're gone, so that's why I bought them ahead of time. So anyways, there's that, because I couldn't buy Wooden Sense anymore, and I really wanted to play that game, so that sucks. Anyways. Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, all right, uh, back into, well, the video. Okay, we're back. So, of course, I'm using a different camera, like I said. That's why it's tilting and shit. So, you've already seen all the digital downloadable games that I got throughout the month of April. Possibly March, I don't know. I'm just showing you whatever I probably can to make some content on this video. So, the big one, you already know from the title, or the title, thumbnail, wow, I'm thinking about a totally different video format. You already know from the background, maybe even the music if I don't have that part muted or, or background sounds muted or something like that. This is, everybody, Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is the, uh, the card, the, Sh the Shinra card, the one you get in there, uh, you, you put the code in to win sweep sweepstakes to win. A lot of stuff I can't remember. And then, of course, here is the Final Fantasy VII Remakes Deluxe Edition. We'll say Special Edition. So, in the Deluxe Edition, 
which I don't remember how I opened it. <laughs> was it just side? Oh, okay, it was just side. It was just side. It was a PlayStation. Well, okay, they both said PlayStation. Whatever. Alright. Uh, inside. Come on. Come on. Alright, there you go. Inside, we have the game. They have the video game here, which I'll just show it off anyways. So, of course, we have the video game Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay. I was very surprised it actually came with two discs. A data, a data disc which has all the like information for the game, and then a playable disc. Then we have the mini soundtrack, which I've already found the entire soundtrack on YouTube, so thank you to the person that uploaded that. And, or for the mini soundtrack of the entire thing. What we have here is a deluxe edition art book. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people are saying like, I didn't know you are a big Final Fantasy fan. Actually, I I'm, I'm really ain't. I'm just a person I really wanted to try this out, and I'm like surprised for myself that I even bought this because, well, it's only ten bucks more. But uh, it was something I was like, this is like gaming history, Final Fantasy VII. So I really wanted to get to immersing the the series. So that's why I'm actually been playing the game, not like buying and play it. Damn it, camera! Okay, we're gonna try it again before it falls again. I should be playing the game uh, because I actually want to get Im immersed in the series to see how it's like. Um, I never was into the turn-based Final Fantasy games. This one is not like that, so that's what I'm liking a lot about this. And here is the steel book for the game. Of course, it says nothing inside, so put your game aside to, to replace it, whatever. But i not putting it, I mean, I'm a person that likes to keep it. And of course, the box again, the box. So. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the entire box of uh, Final Fantasy VII. So, uh, I, I do know some differences between the original and VII Remake. I think my co I think the camera wanted to start tilting back down. So, again, sorry that this is a very weird, weird ass fucking video. But uh, for real, I am actually really enjoying Final Fantasy VII. Uh, there was one entire Saturday I just played it from like 6 or 7 p.m. all the way to like 2 in the morning. So I really got involved with it in my personal opinion. But then of course I had like little bit breaks and stuff like that between it. So again, uh, these are all my pickups. I, I can't really do like a, oh my God, thumbnail. Cause this is well the thumbnail. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do my thumbnail a little click, you know, like that. Oh, look at that, oh, Final Fantasy. I don't know, maybe I could just, there you go. Okay. Okay, that's my thumbnail. <laughs> uh, well, realistically, everybody, um, hopefully in the month of May, uh, stores should be opening up. I, that's what the, that's what Trump has said. I'm not calling him, you know, Prez, but sorry, so I just, I just can't. Um, but I will say, if they do, of course, I might have an opportunity to go back to work for uh, GameStop and. Um, have the ability to go out to go find other stuff. I have gotten other things too, like I said, other than these games. I probably got, well, I do have two things ready to go for the month of May. <laughs> two things, and I'm not spoiling it this time. I'm sorry, I can't show you what they are. I want to be a big surprise. Uh, especially during quarantine right now. I wasn't expecting to find these type of things where I found them. So, yeah. Uh, oh, well, I guess I forgot to mention. Uh, Final Fantasy, Doom, and... Uh, yeah, Final Fantasy and Doom was from GameStop, so... Uh, and then Tales, uh, Blossom Tales was from, of course, Limited Run, and Facebook for Bomb Bomberman. And the rest, there... So, for all the stuff on Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo that I probably just showed off all in one video, or whatever, uh, for the downloadable stuff, I said originally those are all part of some sales, or something, I don't know. If anything, uh, I can't tell you what else because I haven't recorded that. That's in the future tense, not in the current tense. So, again, I uh, hope, you, hope you guys like the video. I mean, of course, this is kind of shorter than I thought. But, yeah, maybe I'll have to make this longer by that, that downloadable stuff. So, Ooh, sorry. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and don't forget to smash that bell button to so notify any videos I upload or stream, and of course, if you want to support the channel, there'll be links in the description below for streamlabs.com forward slash the team shadow. I can't support how much enough. That's the main place if you want to support me. Any way, type of form, donations, 
streamlabs.com. If not, paypal.me. It's both in the link. Links are in the description below. And of course, there is Patreon, but I don't encourage Patreon. I, it's just there if you, if you feel more comfortable with Patreon. So, again, Streamlabs, paypal.me, and um, Patreon. <laughs> so, once again, I'll see you guys all for the month. Uh, well, the end of May. Let's see what we get in May, because honestly, that's all I got for the month of April. So, once again, everybody, we'll be off for the next one, right? Bye bye. <laughs>